my definition of health is, is actually a little uh, different from the definition of health. The definition of health is something I, I write about in Thrive Fitness, and it's, it's very simple. It's just absence of disease, but uh, my standard, I guess, is a little higher. Uh, to me, health is being able to, to sleep deeply, uh, to not need a lot of sleep, uh, to to feel good, have lots of energy without stimulants, not being dependent on coffee or sugar, anything like that. So uh, not needing energy sources that you have to, st uh, to stoke constantly and uh, being able to think clearly, um, being productive, just simple basic things that I think uh, a lot of people don't have, which is unfortunate. To thrive on a plant-based diet, uh, I think it needs to be a whole food diet. So a diet that is, is not a, a refined food diet, which unfortunately uh, is what a lot of people are eating these days and they're not feeling good, they're not thriving on it. So plant-based whole foods and the whole foods uh, are important, so unrefined foods. Lots of greens, lots of uh, fruit and pseudo greens in place of refined carbs, stuff like that. Uh, a lot of what I cover in, in the Thrive Diet. Well, I think the best form of health insurance is uh, is prevention. Um, you know, I, th I think you know that makes a lot of sense if you can just obviously not get sick in the first place, or at the very least reduce your odds of getting sick. Then that's that's good insurance. So the way you do that, of course, is by good nutrition. A lot of the things that I write about in the Thrive Diet, um, obviously high net gain foods, alkaline forming foods, uh, just plant based whole foods in general. And uh, if you eat those, you exercise on a regular basis, your odds of getting sick go down and uh, you don't need conventional health insurance. The most important ingredients to, to peak health, if I had to pick three, uh, well nutrition of course plays a huge part of it. So the, you know all the things I've been talking about, alkaline, plant based, whole foods. Uh, I think also, of course, exercise, you know, giving your body a reason to regenerate and renew itself and, and uh, build new cells. So doing that on a regular basis uh, is important. I think also, too, uh, mentally, it's, it's important to, to try and uh, be healthy. And I think how, how you can do that is, is keeping things in perspective, doing things you enjoy, like uh, knowing that if you're forcing yourself to do a lot of things that, that you don't like, that does actually have a physiological response that causes cortisol to go up which reduces sleep quality and, um, and makes you dependent on caffeine and sugar and all those types of things. So I think knowing that uh, enjoyment is part of it and you have, to, you have to do some things you like once in a while. Don't force yourself to do uh, things like a workout program that you don't like. If you don't like your workout program, find one that you do like and, and go with that. And I think that's really important mentally and therefore I think that's lo important long term uh, for health.